Okay, I've had a few requests to uh, show what the insides of some of these retro cartridges look like. So I had a few that I, uh, or junk cartridges that I took apart. Uh, none of the cartridges I'm going to show are, have been taken apart. They're from my personal collection, so only junk cartridges were sacrificed to make this video. First one is an Atari 7800 cartridge. Right, here's a regular Atari 7800 cartridge. And here's the circuit board that's inside. Next one is an Atari 2600 cartridge. Right, here's a regular cartridge. And here's a circuit board that's inside. Really small circuit board and IC for a huge cartridge. Next one is for the Famicom, Japanese Famicom, which I don't have a cartridge for, but I do have a circuit board from one. This came from a Gyromite cartridge that I got a uh, adapter out of to make a uh, Famicom to NES converter so I can play Japanese games on my regular Nintendo. I do have another video that shows that converter. Normally a uh, NES game have 72 pins and the Famicom games have 60 pins. So you need a converter to play them on a regular Nintendo. Next cartridge is a uh, Nintendo 64. Here's a regular Nintendo 64 cartridge. And here's the circuit board that's inside. Next is a Nintendo cartridge. Right here's a Nintendo cartridge. And right here's the circuit board that's inside of these. Next is a Super Nintendo cartridge. There's a circuit board inside of these. Next, Sega Genesis cartridge. Here's what the circuit board looks inside of one of those. television cartridge and here's a circuit board from one of these and lastly a Vectrix cartridge here's a regular Vectrix cartridge here and right here's the circuit board from a Vectrix cartridge This particular circuit board is from a uh, rip-off game. Thanks for watching.